All right, I'm going to give you a little quick tip. This is regarding BNC connectors. It's probably pretty obvious to some, but it wasn't to me, and I couldn't figure out for the life of me why I couldn't resolve this, and it's, it's a stupid mistake. Well, let me show you what I'm dealing with. So I have a mag loop antenna, and I have it on a rotator. All right, so I'm going to start turning the antenna, and there you see we've got some signal coming in. Here, let me just tune the dial. And I'm going to keep turning the antenna. And now we're starting to see this as I'm turning the antenna. That's not because I'm turning into noise or anything like that. That is because I don't have a good ground on my BNC. And sometimes it'll completely lose all signal completely because it is powering a preamp through that cable as well. And if it loses power, then it goes completely dead. All right, there you go. That's an example of it's being dead. Now it kicked back in again. All right, so there's a prime example of how when it, you saw when it gets noise because of the ground or completely lose power to the preamp on the antenna because of a bad ground. So let me show you what I was doing wrong and how you actually fix this. All right, so here we are at the antenna. You go ahead and disconnect this. So I got a good and tight fit but that's not the problem. I was squishing this outer area down to get it a nice tighter fit, but it wouldn't make any difference. The issue is this outer part is not connected to the ground at all. It's this ring right in here that's actually connecting to the ground. So what I need to change to get a tighter crimp is this. So, you don't want to get too carried away. We'll just put this on here. And just a tiny bit, not much, because you won't be able to get this antenna wire back on if you do it too much. And it's gonna be really hard to do this. And I'm gonna fasten it without holding my camera because I can't do both. All right, let me crimp it a little tighter. All right, let's try it again. All right, now I got it pretty tight. It took two hands. It's tight now. It's really tight. All right, let's go back up. You want to do that little bits at a time. You don't want to over crimp it because it's going to be really hard to reverse. And in that case, I would have literally screwed up the end on the, the preamp is in there. <laughs> and so I would have had to have been taking that whole thing apart and replacing the whole thing if I would have done too much at once. But, I crimped it a little bit the first time and it was still loose, so I crimped it a little bit more the second time and then it was pretty darn snug, but I was able to get it on once I used both hands. So now let's go up here. We're at 36 degrees. And we'll start rotating this guy. We're turning into the noise. This is what it would normally be like. In fact, you can hear the noise coming up, but this is normal. We're not getting all that rapid static drop off or, or increase in noise. I'm already to 12. Noise levels, probably around 10 is the lowest. All right, so there I go. I went ahead and did the full 360 and it never lost a good ground. So that's my quick tip, very basic, but do not crimp the male end of the BNC connector because that's not actually the ground, as I was not aware. Then test it, and then if you need to crimp it more, go a little more. I hope you find this helpful.